Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. And today I thought I would like to make some flowers. Not paper flowers this time. But I have this really cool, I think it's called, um, well, I thought it was organza, but I'm not even sure. Tool. I think this is tool. I'm going to try this one as well. Um, you could do it with all sorts of things. This has a little, it's like a mesh. And this one is copper. This little flower is fairly flat. I put a wood butterfly for the center that I painted in gold. Um, it's a fairly flat, so I figured it would go really well either on a journal cover or even maybe inside. Um, as long as you don't put too many in, I don't see the harm in putting some flowers in. So this flower was made out of a piece that was about this size. And I used a paper clip to make it. So let's, let's see if I can replicate or kind of make another one. So basically, um, yeah, first of all, I wrapped it around, well, at first I cut it, but since this is already cut, I will do this. I will wrap this around my fingers like so. Not too tight. You want to be able to slide it off. And again, this will make a really small one. So after it's wrapped, I will take off the um, shiny fibers. <laughs> it does fray a little bit, so. Like I said, you could do this with other material. Then I'm gonna fold it in half. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to kind of make a very vague petal shape. And then I'm going to take the same scissors and I'm going to cut into the petals that I've made now on both sides but only about an inch in. I'm gonna leave half an inch that's not cut and that's where we're gonna join the flower together. Try and get all of them. All right, so then I'm going to unravel it. Like I said, this makes for a very small smallish flower. You can make them whatever size you like, really. And I thought this was a good way to... I will use my waxed thread to tie it because uh, it doesn't slide around so much. I find it sturdier. Sturdier, more stable, I don't know. Non-slippery, maybe. All right, so then I take the paper clip. I, I used a smaller one for that one, but I don't think it should matter. So I'm going to slide the fabric in there, and then I'm going to kind of gather the rest of this material, bunch it together 
Oops. Yeah, I'm purposely making smaller ones because I was intending to use them for my journal. I've seen people use hairpins for this. But I don't I didn't really have a big one and I don't really use them so I pretty much have to look for the ones I did have. But I had a paper clip handy so I figured why not. Alright, so bring that to the very end. And that's when you see where you have what on which side. Now, you could fluff it, I guess, if you wanted to at this point. Um, I probably would do minimal because we're going to tie this up. And then we're going to remove it from the paper clip. So I just have to figure out what goes on what side. I think that's probably more important than fluffing it out right now. We can fluff it out later, I guess. So I just want to make sure that I have kind of half and half. Like it was really long here, so I pulled over here and brought that in. It's kind of long over here, so I'm thinking I might pull something here. Anyways, I'm not too fanatic about how that's gonna be, but this will be how we um, bring it together. So we're going to tie one knot and then I'm going to tie another knot. And then I can just slide it off of there. So I'm done with that then. And this one, it might need a little more finagling for some reason. I have to kind of, with this one, honestly, I don't even, this string seems to be kind of in the middle, so I probably flattened it. When I first looked at it, I thought it looked more like a feather than a flower, a ball of fluff. You can still kind of pull things out. And then I'm just going to decide where I want my petals. And Not all flowers are made equal, <laughs> so I'm not too concerned that all the petals are the same size. And two, I think it adds interest if they're a little bit maybe lopsided, but I'll leave that up to you. You could trim the string off too if you really wanted to. I'm leaving them on there for now. I just kind of want it roughly equal, I guess. And then I have to decide If I 
can get that one petal. That's sort of this one here. It's really sticking out. There we go. If not, if nothing else would work, then I would just kind of cut it off. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I think that's pretty decent. Then I'm gonna have to find something to put in the middle. And I haven't really, I don't know, that butterfly is okay. I was thinking maybe one of these little roses that might work. So I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and I'm going to put, let's see, I'll put it all around the little guy here and then just plop it down. Ouch. Careful. What about hot glue? Don't you understand? Okay, so there's that. Like I said, for the butterfly, I just held it down because I think the glue can kind of go yeah, the glue will kind of go into the center. Now, for some reason, this one turned out bigger, rounder. So, if I really wanted to, I could just cut a little bit off into you can kind of manhandle it a little bit. Smush it, squish it. I mean, they'll get flat if you do put it inside a journal, but and there are some messes. But, so that's the secondary one. Um, so in this way, since I think I made them exactly the same, uh, interesting how they look so different. All right, so I'm going to make uh, maybe a little longer one. So this one should be poofier. I'm going to use my same paper clip and you know I'm not going to wrap my wrap it around my fingers I'm just going to I'm just going to roll it up roughly an inch inch and a quarter something like that you can do more, you can do less. If you want them tighter, just roll it tighter. You could wrap it around a ruler as well. I think what does matter here though is that kind of even all right I'm just gonna for the sake of time trim that then you saw how I made it in half so then I'm going to cut the flower. I kind of want this one a little pointier, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to cut in again, just about halfway for this one. Okay. 
Okay, and then we can unravel it. So you get this. Sorry if you can't see that very well. I'll pick a different color for the next one if I do another. All right, so the same idea with this. Put it into the paper, put it into the paper clip and I guess for myself I'm going to have to work a little harder on keeping it in the center. Easy to lose track of it. But yeah, I bought all this, um, like I said, I'm not even sure what it's called. It's this fancy dress material anyways. And since I don't really sew dresses, I figured it would come in handy for something, but I'll be honest, when I bought it, I was not thinking flowers at all. And now I have, I think I've twisted it. There we go. Careful not to twist it because you know what they say about getting your knickers in a knot. Well, <laughs> we don't want our flowers twisted either, so. Yeah, that's even hard to see for me. Trying to figure out which side is what. Which side is what now? Okay. Yeah, this one might not really interesting. And too, I was thinking, you know, if it was just a little bit, this could be like one of those um, fancy paper clip things that you put in at the top of a journal and then this sticks out. Um, let's see, what do I have? What do I have for journal? I'm going to have to clean my area. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that. Anyways, uh, okay, like so. You stick it in at the top. And then it sticks out. You just have to make sure that it's um, probably hot glue it in place then instead of taking it off which is what we're gonna do so if I was gonna make that I would find the top of the paper clip and then just hot glue it in there that way it would stick and make it look poofy but we are on a mission to make a flower so I will put that down for now and get some more thread. And then separate the two sides. And if I want to pull it out, I have to be precise. Otherwise, you're going to tie it and then you're going to find out that you tied it around the paper clip by accident. So, I thought I had it. And then I see this section here, which needs separating. Okay, I just didn't um, have it 
all in my hand that was for the one half all right so do that yeah so it's a little little tricky but we can do this This almost reminds me of when I was little and, well, younger, and my sister, my older sister, got married and, okay, sorry, I'm going to date her a little bit and myself. Back then it was still popular to make plastic flowers and stick them on cars. Do people still do that? I have no idea. All right, so yeah, all the bridesmaids and I was the flower girl. So we got together and uh, made a whole whack of these um, plastic flowers. I think they were white, red, and pink. So good times. She's still married to the same guy too. And their anniversary's coming up. They got married in June, of course. That's <laughs> when everybody used to get married. It's a beautiful month. All right, so the, this one kind of, it would do the stand-up thing really well. I don't know. But if I'm going to put something in the center, I guess I better find that center. I'm going to lay the string to one side, kind of separate the petals, just to determine that I actually want the center where it is, right there. I have buttons, but I don't really want to do buttons. I just thought of some goodies I have. I have made this little bow. Since white on white looks, sometimes it looks classy. That might work. Or I also have I also have a lace one, but I don't think that will look particularly good because it's cream. Yeah, I think the white one would look better. The cream one might have looked good on that one. But, oh, the bow with the flower on top would have maybe looked good. Okay, we'll keep that for spec. Then I have these little, um, what do they call them, wax seals. I have all different colors. Well, not all the different colors, but I have them in different colors. So I'm just wondering which one would look the greatest on white. I'm feeling partial to the pink. Hmm. That's not bad, pink and white. I mean, I could end up making a ton of these, so I suppose eventually I'll get around to making all of them. Um, I also have these little gold glue dots that I made. And you know, I kind of don't mind that. Simple. I'm going to 
try it with just the just the dot. If I had a bigger one, it might work better, but I think I probably found the biggest one. Yeah, so these are just hot glue. And I try to make like round round dots on um whatever it was I got it got stuck to the bottom of it when I peeled it off but anyways that is what I have there how would the black look good that'll probably look good there yeah all right so I'll put those to the side for now I will use this one Now I have to be a little careful with this one because that is already hot glue. So this will be hot glue on top of hot glue and I don't want it to melt on me. And I got a little beside. Something like that. It should harden. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Is that a yay? Do I need to make another one? I have this red stuff. And yes, I got this at the thrift store. And does tear. Alright, I'm going to have to move these because they're just so attracted to each other. <laughs> I have to separate them. Alright. Um, okay. So, the stuff does tear, which looks actually really cool. But I guess we're going to be cutting that off when we shape the petals. So, Okay, so for this, I kind of like the idea that I did with the flat. So just over an inch. do want them to end at the same end at one spot so all right so I'll fold it make your petal shape Again, I want mine a little bit more um, a little more definition, so I'm kind of making it pointy. Then we're going to cut like I do about halfway. In my case, it works out to about half an inch if you are making them wider you would obviously need to adjust that all right unfold and 
and get my paper clip. So put that in there in the middle. Always aim for the middle. And then just kind of bunch it up in there as though you're gathering something, something. But yeah, I think these would make a great addition to journals. I'm thinking they would look especially good on the cover. But really anywhere you want to put it. It's something different and I just sometimes need something different. In fact, I think maybe that's what appeals to me about what they call junk journaling is that, yeah, you can make a whole bunch of stuff the same, but you don't have to. You can make it the same or you can make it different. And for people like me who seem to, I don't know, I seem to have a short attention span. Sometimes I like to make a bunch of things the same and then other times I'm just tired of it and I want to do something different. So, this suits me just fine to do something different today. Because I, I also like to keep learning. And... Alright, so I basically just worked on that to make sure that I had the paper clip actually in the middle. And then I need to cut another piece of string. If you don't have wax thread, you could use anything else really that you have. This is such a pretty red. It reminds me of raspberries. Or maybe cherries. I don't even know. Alright. Hope you guys are in the loop there. All right, so slip that off. That's how you know you're on the right track. Oh, you know, this could actually make like a Christmas poinsettia type thing too. And you know, with this one, I have the string there. So this one came together different uh, with the other ones, I've been layering the, like spreading them out with two layers, the top and the bottom. This one, and I think this is how the first one turned out too. The first one I did, I'm not sure now. But so far, they're all similar, and yet they're all different too. So... There's this one. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that would work, but I'm not loving it. I'm not loving that either. Maybe. Maybe I have something else. I can't get it open.
I have these lace butterflies that I got blessed with. My husband is so good to me. I hope you all have good husbands if you have husbands. All right, so, oh. I do think I like that. What do you think? Is that a keeper? Or do I go with the bow? It still, it still looks okay too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably not do those anymore. Um, let's see. That would be for me more like Christmassy, but for spring, I think the smaller butterfly. Like that. About that. Well, that would have worked too. I didn't want to use up all my butterflies on one project, but I do think that would go nicely. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it. Just do it. I do like that. If I pushed it in like so, would it kind of, there we go. Looks a little 3D that way. Got some of that white one in there. All right, so how fun is that? Lots of fun, right? So yeah, there are so, a ton of um, flower making tutorials on YouTube. I wasn't really planning to do one. I just was doing it a little differently than some of the ones I saw. So I thought, why not make some and bring you guys along? for the journey. All right, so there we have it. That's the one I started with. And the journey ends here. So I hope you guys liked that. If you didn't, you're probably not watching anymore, so. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.